This is Build a Better Business. I'm Kathy Binner, and I am a passive income coach. And I was just talking the other day that I might switch up a little bit of my identity because the sweet spot for me is actually mentoring. I love it when I'm in a group where I get to actually mentor more than, than coach. Now, don't get me wrong. For all of you that are out there that are my coaching clients, I love you. I'm going to keep you. <laughs> and, and we can stay together forever. It's okay. Um, but uh, being a passive income coach, I'm all about passive income. And when you're coaching one-on-one, -on -one, that's really not passive because it takes, you know, an hour of your time or two hours or however much time you have that you've dedicated to your client. And so it doesn't become very passive. And the more clients that you have, the less passive it is. And I really like the mentoring piece where I can mentor in a group setting. And then um, I could even chat with folks one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, in smaller segments because sometimes folks don't need a whole hour. They're just stuck on one little step and they just need a mentor. They just need somebody that says, here's how I did it. Let me show you. And then they're like, oh, I get it now. I can do that. And so I have set up some office hours for all of my mastermind members where they can just click through in 15 minute segments. And if you need me longer than 15 minutes, that's okay too. But uh, you can click through on 15 minute segments and, uh, and I can keep you moving forward and you don't have to wait to try to find a coaching slot with me or purchase a big coaching package because it's free to all the mastermind members to the membership site. And your membership site is only $25 a month. So, and I just changed it up, Sherry, you're going to appreciate this. And I, I don't have everybody added in yet. It's going to take me a minute to do it, but, um, for the $25, you get the entire academy, not just one or two of the memberships. You get the entire academy. So um, I do have, and I'm going to show you that on my website before we move on. And today's topic is podcasting. And um, But before we do that, I am going to let Sherry introduce herself and who she is and what she does. And she is my co-host, my co-mod on uh, this particular uh, lane of Build a Better Business. And so over to you, Sherry. Tell us about you. Hello, everybody. Yeah. So I have been a recovering dysgraphic uh, as I am learning more about myself and uh, this topic of dysgraphia, which is a disability in writing. And so I always go back to that adage. I think it was Jim Rohn that talked about you have to practice 10,000 times before you really become proficient at it. Well, writing is a lifetime. You start when you're five-ish years old, but it when I hit my college years, I hit this this cap of tolerance, and I was like, I I can't do this. They want too much out of me. There is nothing I can do to successfully get this job done, and. I was like, yeah, no, this is never going to happen. I, so all, we talked a little bit of a go about being an, inter, an introvert. Um, I was so much of an introvert because I was afraid to speak. I was afraid to write. I was afraid to even share my voice because I felt like this disability was just consuming me. So I made this plan back in 2013, I am going to tackle my biggest fears and that's reading, writing and, and speaking. And so I'm trying my best to do that. And one of the ways that I found that's been very easy for me to overcome is an interview. And so I've been interviewing people for the last year and few months on my podcast, The Writing Glitch. Hacking dysgraphia, no pencil required. And people go, why don't you need a pencil when, with writing? Because it's all that mental shift that you need mm. to endure to overcome that challenge of writing, that challenge of speaking, that challenge of learning. And I don't know that everybody always understands what I'm trying to get to. So I've been really looking right now at my messaging and I'm really looking at, yeah, I'm really not talking about dysgraphia per se. I am talking about that mental shift that happens before the pencil ever arises in the hand. So that's a little bit of, about me and my journey. And I wow. changed a little bit, Kathy. So, um, 
I'm hoping that it makes more sense. And I think the thing that had me realize that my message was off a little bit was I did my first full day speaking workshop at a local school district and everybody's looking at me like deer in headlights. Like I don't understand. So, uh, and I came home and I'm going, okay, I need to change this. I need to change this. I need to, but I knew what I needed to change. And one of the things that I'm hoping that this coming weekend does is it really puts a pin in the messaging because that's the thing I've been struggling with. Well, and you know what, you've, you've hit on all of the right points today, because the number one thing is, uh, you know, what is when, for those that are listening, if you're going to create uh, a better business, which is what this is all about is building a better business. And our segment today is on podcasting. So if you're going to create whatever your messaging is, whatever your, your message is to your audience, whatever your promise is to your clients, that has to actually resonate and be clear to them what that promise is. And so Mm -hmm. that's kind of where we start. So even if you're going to do a podcast, you have to pick a topic, you know, you have to, you have to pick a lane, you have to pick something. Now, of course, a lot of podcasts, they're very niche down and I get that. Some are a little more general. Um, For me, my entire academy is all about uh, creating passive income, um, being able to work from home, being able to work from anywhere in the world uh, and to creating a a cash flow for yourself. Because we all need money to live on. It's not money is not a dirty word. Okay. Let me just say that (laughs) for all of you out there, money is not a dirty word. And so uh, we all have to generate some to take care of ourselves. But, and and, and I'm going to get down into the weeds on the nitty gritty. Sometimes um, it's, it's hard to choose a lane and how you're going to price it and what you're going to do for a fee. Because on one hand, you have this whole community that says, well, why don't they just pull up themselves up by them boots by their bootstraps and get out there and, and work and work, work, work and make some money and 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 do what 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 has what needs to be done. And then you've got the other whole community that says, well, who does she think she is asking for money to do that? Mm-hmm. You know, trying to charge to do that. And and so you're 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 kind of like, well, which what, what do I do here? Which way does it go? And so you have to just decide for yourself, what your messaging is, what it is that you want to put out there to the world. And, and then you have to, to feel good in here with your price point. And mm-hmm. I don't want to dictate what anybody's price point is. That's going to be totally up to you. If you're going to, char- whatever you're going to charge for your products and services. Um, but where I see the disconnect in, uh, in, in the world at large is that folks are, are willing to pay for an item like, you know, to buy a candle, to buy a car, to buy a house, whatever. Um, but then when they want to buy um, somebody else's knowledge, um, they, they go, oh, I'm not paying that much. You know, they're, 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 their knowledge isn't worth that much. Uh, mm-hmm. But what happens is, is, is that it, that's what's hard to measure. You can measure what the market value is of a house. You just look and see what the, what the market will bear. What are, what are people paying? You know, we call it comps. What are people paying in the area for that size of house? And that's what I can sell my house for because that's what people are willing to pay. And, and so now you have to decide, well, what are people willing to pay for somebody's knowledge? And there are price points everywhere from $7 a month to 7,000 or 70,000. I mean, it's, it's, there's no, there's, there's really, it's hard to find the comps. (laughs) Mm -hmm. And so I I know of, I know of some masterminds that are a hundred thousand dollars a month. Yeah. Yeah. To join the mastermind. And so, so I think you have to start from the very beginning and you have to reverse engineer it. And you have to ask yourself, who is my audience? You have to enter the conversation in their heads instead of making them enter the one in yours. And so you have to ask yourself, who is my audience and what 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 is their sweet spot to pay for education for somebody's knowledge? You know, what what is their budget? And Mm -hmm. then you have to create your courses and your masterminds, um, whether you're doing challenges, whatever it is that you're going to put a price tag on that you're going to charge for, um, then you have to price it according to who your audience is. And then you can feel good that you are in the right place with the right information for the right folks. 
And so sometimes if you want to raise your prices, you have to change your audience. And so that's that's difficult. And again, we get into in our Build a Better Business program. And, and in January, we're going to start from the top. So if you're listening to this recording, it's time to, to tap in in January. Because when we start from the top, we're going to talk about what is your promise to your clients, to your audience? What is your value proposition? What is your VPS? What What is it that you're doing and for whom? And once that's clear in your mind, see, then you can go back and work on your messaging. Now, like Sherry, she hit on a lot of things right here in what she was just talking about, because you have to start first and get clarity second. Sometimes we think we know what our audience needs. And, uh, and then when we get out there, like Sherry said, if they have the little deer in the headlights, you've got to back up a little bit and say, okay, I, I had a disconnect with my audience. Uh, wherever that was. And so Sherry says she knows what she needs to fix. And uh, and oftentimes that's the case. Once you start um, putting your products and services out there, especially if it's intellectual uh, products and services like books and speeches and courses and things that you're writing and doing, um, it's easy enough for you to go back and, and adjust. And sometimes your information is golden. You just need an extra stepping stone to get them to where you are. You need to just have another step ahead of that because maybe you, you they just aren't quite where you are when you're presenting. So so I don't know if that's the case with Sherry, but Sherry, I think you're on the right path there on uh, on doing your adjustments so that you connect with your audience. And uh, and it is tough. And all of us, we all have different personalities. We were talking earlier about being introverts or extroverts. And so we all have different personalities. Our, the people that are receiving our message all has different personalities. And so it is hard to, to meet everybody where they are. But it does get easier over time uh, if we put out enough content. So one of the ways that we can do content is in podcasting. Um, but before we jump into that, I just want to run down, and I'm just going to get my list out here in front of me. I want to run down the list of all of our topics for our listeners. And again, tap in in January. When we start in January, we're going to be, um, it's going to be the same. This is going to be easy, Sherry. You're going to love it. It's the same Zoom code every Monday. You don't have to, it's going to be a new one, but it's going to be just one Zoom code every Monday. And so no matter when you tap in, you and, and, and everybody gets the full academy. Uh, for the $25 a month. And so when you come on, you can tap into as many as you want. And so on uh, January 8th, that is uh, the first one in January where uh, we're talking about entrepreneurs and solopreneurs. And we are going to go through uh, the Build a Better Business program starting in January and how to create offers all the way through. So here are our topics. In January, we're going to talk about the VPS, the Value Proposition Statement. In February, we're going to talk about storytelling, and we're going to help you write your hero's journey. In March, we're going to talk about serving is selling, how to um, find influencers in your lane that you can serve so that you can borrow their audience, and uh, and they will help advertise you. Then in starting in May, uh, for the next few months, we're going to talk about how to create offers. So in May, it's your free offer, your first level. I call it the first base in June is going to be your mid-level offer or your second base in July is going to be your core offer or your third base. That's your bread and butter. Sometimes we have to reverse engineer. We have to decide what are we making the most money doing and let's make that our core offer. And then you have to reverse engineer back to what is your first level and second level so that you land on that core offer. And then in August, we're going to talk about your go celebrate offer, your home run. What's your big ticket? Maybe it's a once a year summit or once a year retreat. Maybe it's a once a year trip, whatever it is, it's going to be the big one for the year. And that's going to be your core or your go celebrate offer. And then we're going to move on. Once we have all of that, what is your message? What is your story? Now you're, you're serving other influencers. You've got this website already developed. You've got your offers plugged in. Now, how are you going to advertise all of that? How are you going to let people know that you, because you have built that business, just like you build a house, you're going to build it step by step. And so in September, we talk about now that you have that in place, let's talk about putting ourselves out across social media. Then in October, we talk about blogging. In November, we talk about podcasting, which is, that's the topic we're on this month. 
And then in December, we talk about public speaking because all of a sudden you can take your message to a, a room of a hundred people, a room of a thousand people. You can reach so many more doing a public speaking gig than you can hoping that somebody sees your one little post on Facebook once a month. <laughs> so, so my point is, is that the more confidence you get in your products and services and the more you do this, the more you start and you get more and more clarity and you keep tweaking it and making it more clear and you keep reaching your audience where they are and you keep adding those stepping stones to get your clients to where you want them to be uh, in your messaging, then all of a sudden you feel very confident going out there and doing a public speaking gig. So some of you might say, not me, never, never. I'm never going to be a public speaker. I get it. And that's okay. But you can be a public speaker right here on Zoom. You can actually do a, a, a what we call um, a vlog instead of a, a blog where you can actually talk about your message right on a video. And you know why it's so easy? Because if you don't like it, don't publish it, erase it, do it again, do it again until you get one that you like, but you do have to, at some point, pull the trigger and publish that thing, <laughs> whatever that thing is. Am I can right, Jerry? <laughs> yeah. Can I just add a thought about public speaking? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, public speaking really is even just talking to your spouse or your significant other about a topic. I mean, you're getting it out there to someone else. So I think People think public speaking means uh, getting out there to talking to a lot of people. Sometimes it's just talking to a small group. Yeah, and that absolutely. Is, and, and small groups are anything that's more than just yourself. Yeah, uh, absolutely. So when you're thinking about public speaking, don't think the big uh, Tony Robbins, wah ha ha yeah. kind of <laughs> audience. Think what do you, how are you going to change, sell that message to somebody that you know well, who really is still confused? And I have got to say that, that Jeff says that to me all the time is like, I don't understand what you do. I don't understand that is you talk too technical. And so I've been trying really hard to get it to the point where it's, I can talk to that general person who doesn't follow neuroscience because neuroscience is a very complicated task. Um, and so public, when I think about public speaking, I think about um, Jeff isn't necessarily my audience, but yet my audience may understand mm -hmm. just as much. Oh, I love the butterflies. This is my Lily cup. My granddaughter bought me this when she went to Port Myers a couple of years ago on vacation. And right before my mother passed away, my mother said, if you ever see a butterfly, she goes, that, that will, that will be me, um, you know, just touch and base with you if you see a butterfly flying around. And so when Lily saw the cup, she bought it for me. So it's special to me because it represents not only my mom, but my granddaughter. So it's my, my Lily cup. Hmm. Sorry, I turned away from you as you were speaking there. Um, no, that's okay. The, the my my office manager fur baby uh, uh, was telling me it was time to give him more food. So I love this. We both can work from home. I'm in the corner of my kitchen, and no, this is not my kitchen that you see behind me. This is a virtual um, backdrop from Zoom. And so if I click that off, you will see my messy kitchen. But it's all good. <laughs> and right. so I and can travel. Is, so wherever I travel. My yeah. yeah, this is my background here in my office, but I will be traveling this weekend. I am taking all of my supplies along with me. So in case I decide that I'm going to do something impromptu uh, as far as like a podcast episode, I'm going to have the pieces. So those pieces that I need to take along as we're speaking about podcasting, I have a microphone. I have a little stand that my, a portable stand that my microphone goes on. That's probably the heaviest part of my entire thing. I have this little box. Now you don't have to go this route with it, with podcasting, but it, I, oops, I was podcasting for quite a while before I bought one of these little boxes. Okay. Um, 
It is a, here's the box, a Scarlet Solo. Okay. Oh, it's an, a USB audio interface. I get it. Okay. Do now, it. I just want to let the know. listeners know. You, yeah. you can do what Sherry is doing, and I, I get it. And the, and the more you podcast, you know, in the perfect world, I would have this gorgeous little studio. It doesn't have to be big. Uh, as a matter of fact, oftentimes in the industry, we call it our podcasting closet. So it doesn't have to be any bigger than a closet. But in a perfect world, I would have this beautiful uh, way to podcast with my little podcasting closet. And I would have the microphone and the great camera and all of that. Um, but again, because, and it, you have to make it fit your lifestyle because I want to be a passive income coach or passive income mentor. Um, I want to be able to do what I do from anywhere in the world. And I, and I travel very light. I'm one of these that I can travel indefinitely with three changes of clothes, a couple of, of flat coat hangers and uh, a bar of Fells naphtha soap. <laughs> and, and I just hand launder my, and I could just go forever. I, it, I don't have to worry about finding a laundromat. I don't, you know, so I can pack everything that I need in a little carry on. And so when I travel and I want to be able to continue doing my podcasting, um, I simply decided, and I'm, so I'm on the totally simplified version and Sherry is not. And so for me, I, I love to just use my computer. When I bought my laptop, I actually researched for a gaming laptop. Because a lot of kids that do, and I say kids, um, a lot of folks that do gaming, um, you know, they, they use the video, they use the audio, they, they want, uh, you know, high uh, visibility in, in their uh, gaming. And so I purposely purchased uh, a laptop that gamers might purchase. And yeah. so that way I can just throw my laptop in my suitcase my because it's it's a smaller one it's not a big laptop as a matter of fact my daughter makes fun of me every time she comes in she goes how do you work on this tiny thing and I love it because it slides right into that little um uh, personal mm -hmm. item bag that I have and I can just open it up and I can uh, just go on and do what I'm doing today and I don't have to hook up anything so don't get overly don't make it overly complicated if you want to start podcasting and you uh, can the, the other thing that I do, I do have another podcast and the only thing I do is on my phone. I will record on my phone and it's strictly a, an audio file that I save, but I share these things with you just so that you can see there. Sometimes the setup is a little bit more involved and I was going to contrast that with, I can also use my, just my phone, yeah. but, um, but I, I need to take this stuff with me this weekend um, and I then am able to uh, take it from my desktop, which has two monitors and a big uh, lighting system behind the thing, to a little ring light and the microphone and the webcam is also portable. And so I can then just take it, the whole thing, tear it down, and it all does fit in my backpack. And Kathy, I have learned from you talking about um, uh, traveling light. Yeah. I do believe that I'm able to get everything in my backpack for my trip this weekend. Okay. It's going to be a little heavy, but I can yeah. get it there. Because that, that stand for the microphone um, is just heavy. That's all it you know and and again for those of you if you're going to be traveling a lot and you want to be able to continue your podcasting while you're what we say on the road um i i again i love to just travel with my laptop all i need is a wi-fi i can do that in a hotel as a matter of fact i did this last weekend i was at a big real estate uh convention and i had uh one of my podcasts was was due on friday morning and so i actually set up in the hotel lobby and I did my mm -hmm. podcast right from the hotel lobby and, uh, and I had people walking all around, but it was fun. It was fun. People were waving and they're like, I want to be on your podcast, you know? So it brought a lot of energy to the podcast. Also, there's a lot of, uh, from the iPhone, there's a lot of, uh, microphones that are really inexpensive that you can attach to the, the microphone. Um, I think the one that I got was around $40. So really, when you think about it, that's relatively inexpensive. Um, there are some that are lava that are like that clip on here that have a cord that goes to 
them. What I found was there weren't as many options for my Google Android model. And so that's one of the reasons I converted to an iPhone is okay. Uh, getting... I haven't done that yet. I'm still on Android. <laughs> I know. I know. I and... do have an iPad though. I do have an iPad. And so you should be able to find one of those microphones that taps into that. So there are some ways to get these, the message across to folks. And I don't know if this is the path that you were thinking about taking today, Kathy, but, um, you know, I've been thinking about, okay, how, how can I do what re Kathy recommends and do this travel? So, and part of the reason I'm thinking about how light can I travel is the place that I'm staying and the hotel that the conference is in are probably a half mile apart. So I need to go up over the Miami river and down the other side to get to the hotel. And I'm going, okay, so I'm going to have to check out early. And, you know, I'm thinking what, what is it that I want to have with me? Uh, because I'm going to be doing this, mm -hmm. this travel thing. I, you know, I found the Airbnb much cheaper than the conference. Uh, the I did the same thing. thing. Yeah. I, I do that and, often. I'll stay separate from the convention centers, wherever the convention is, because it's like a fraction of the cost. And so for those of you that are just getting started, that's a great travel hack is uh, if you're going to attend these conventions or you're a speaker at a convention, uh, you feel like you want to be right there because that's where all the action is. But you can save several hundred dollars by staying off site. But mm -hmm. then like Sherry, you've got to figure out how to schlep all your stuff over to back and forth mm -hmm. that you need during the convention, especially if you're presenting. So I get it. Yeah. So I'm not presenting at this one. So I was like, okay, I think I can follow this with Kathy. So I think I've got the three outfit thing covered well. And also the other thing that I find is with that three outfit idea that Kathy talks about is I'm going from Pennsylvania, which has been averaging somewhere between 50 and 60 degrees to Florida. And the forecast in Florida is 80, 85 degrees. And in my head, I'm going, well, at least I'm going that direction. When you go into a colder environment and you have to think heavier clothes, mm -hmm. the bulk takes up more room. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've been I've been doing a lot of thinking about that and not sure that I have totally conquered the entire thing and not always not always do I have to carry everything, but for this particular one, unfortunately, I think I have to. Um, okay. Just because I get it. one yeah. of the one of the assignments that I understand that we have to do is that first night we have to uh do a our like so I'm a podcaster, I have to do a podcast episode based on what I've learned that night, that day. So, okay. um, so I, I do it. Do, uh, something that night, some homework. So I now, figured for, those, for those of you that are, are listening, you might say, okay, I, I get, you know, we talked about travel. We talked about, you know, what equipment and whatever, but what, how, what platform, how do I get started? I happen to like the zoom platform. And, and we often say, you know, with the whole COVID, uh, you know, it was terrible and horrible and I get all of that. But one of the good things that came out of COVID is that everyone knows how to use Zoom <laughs> mm -hmm. because so many companies went to Zoom. So many school systems went to Zoom uh, or a Zoom-like program. And so everybody kind of has heard of Zoom and they know how to use Zoom. And, um, and so at this point, I like it because you can come on just like this. And you can do it by yourself. You don't have to have like, I've got Sherry in the next square so you can see both of us, but you could just open up a Zoom call and you just talk to your computer. You can do whatever backgrounds you want. I'm doing a virtual one, Sherry is not. Um, by the way, Sherry, you can take a picture of your background and you can actually create your own virtual out of your own office and it'll look like you're in your office all the time. But anyway, oh, that I like, I like the one that I have. And one of the reasons with the virtual, uh, and we've all heard about a green screen. 
And when you, when you put a green screen behind your virtual, then you don't get the bleeding. So if you see where I turn my head and sometimes my hair kind of disappears and bleeds over, that's because I do not have a green screen behind me to block out what is actually literally behind me, which is my kitchen. <laughs> and so when I turn on my virtual backdrop, um, I, this one bleeds the least when I do that, which is, I, I tried several to see if I move around, but you can see some, my hands still show some of them, as soon as your hands get out here, they disappear. And so uh, play around with some virtual backdrops. I like a virtual backdrop because it doesn't matter where I am. See? And, um, and I just found a blank wall at the hotel lobby and I put my back to the blank wall. And so then I didn't have anybody walking behind me that would interfere with my virtual um, backdrop. So anyway, I can actually um, do my my podcast from anywhere. And I know we're talking a little bit about virtual, about or the, the video part of it where you can actually see me, but I actually do this. And this is what I wanna share with the audience is that I do my call on Zoom and then Zoom will record not only the audio video version, but also just an audio only version. And it's automatic in the Zoom. And so at the end of the call, when you're all finished and you sign off, it takes a few minutes for it to spool. But once it gets finished, kind of spooling within the cloud of Zoom, it then pops up your recordings. So from there, you have tons of options. So what I do is I download both each of those, the audio video combo and the audio only. Um, I download both of those into my hard drive and then I can open up Vimeo, which is just a platform like YouTube. And then I open up my YouTube and then I'm using for my podcasting, I'm using audio boom. So I open up those three tabs and at the end of the day, then I can then just take the link of, of, what I downloaded and I can just scoot it over and drop it into the upload of those three programs. And in a matter of minutes, I have an audio video version on Vimeo. I have an audio video version on YouTube and I have the audio only version on audio boom. And then audio boom shares it with eight to 10 other channels automatically. When I go in, they ask me what channels I wanted to share on. And I, I chose the, the ones that I'd heard of because again, I was brand new to podcasting at that time. And I just want to say, don't get too hung up on where you're going to put your podcast. And again, mine's on audio boom, the audio only version of the recording. And the reason that I like audio boom um, is because it's so simple to you, but several of them are, but you can actually go out and research what are the top podcasting platforms. Choose one that fits your budget, that does what you want it to do, but don't get stuck there analyzing forever going, oh, I don't know what to decide. What if I pick the wrong one? It's okay because you've downloaded it into your hard drive. And so if later you pick a different one, just upload it into a different one later. You don't have to worry about making the wrong decision. A, a, a bad decision is is better than a no decision. <laughs> so just and pick one. And many of them will let you port to another pl platform. Do what now? And many of them will let you port to a new platform. Yes, yes. So don't get stuck on that. Just get started. And you'll get more clarity. And I did a few podcasts early on. Oh, it was terrible. I was trying to record it on my phone. And then I was trying to get it over. And, you know, this is before Zoom. And finally, when Zoom came out, I was like, oh, this is so perfect because it's so easy. And so don't make it harder than it is. So Zoom is your friend. You can get a free version, especially if you're just going to do your own podcasting. You can, and you're not going to be interviewing other folks, but you could. Um, but on the free version and Sherry... Um, Tell me if, if this is right. On a free version, you have 40 minutes on Zoom? It I may be right. It's been a long time since I had a free version. Yeah, <laughs> the free version, I think, and double check it, but I think, on the, and you can just do pricing Zoom, uh, Google Zoom pricing or pricing Zoom, and it'll come up all the different levels of pricing. And I'm thinking the free one, you get a 40, you can do 40 minutes before the call shuts off, which is plenty of time if you want to do uh, a little interview or if you just want to present on a topic on your own and then have it spool and then take the, the recording once it comes up and just, you know, download the link and then 
scoot the link over into your audio boom or whatever platform you choose. So let me show you what mine looks like. And while I'm showing you, Sherry, I, I've shared my, uh, I made you the co-host um, technically, so you'll be able to share your screen as well. And so before we go, I just kind of want to show you uh, where to find my stuff. And then uh, I'll have Sherry um, share her podcast as well. Um, this is my main website. It's on Teachable. You can see up here in the URL, it's uh, the Kathy Benner International Academy on Teachable. And that's where you can find everything. Here is the link at the entire academy for one low price. And so you can click there if you want everything here that's in my academy. But if I go to solo or entrepreneurs and solopreneurs, that's where we are today. And if I click on that, this is what it looks like. And once you get here to the entrepreneurs and solopreneurs, we are in this build a better business free meetup right here. If you click through and, and join this, and this shows that me, there I am, and Sherry, we are the, the host and co-host. If you click through on this icon, Teachable will make you um, create an account, but it is free. And then all of our replays are here. So you can listen to all the replays, everything from the VPS to the story uh, telling to serving uh, to building all your different products and services. All of our replays are right here. Then there is a course, which I'm going to show you in just a moment. And then here is the mastermind. But if you click on this, get the entire academy for one low price, you get all everything in here. You get you get the health and wellness. You get the real estate. Uh, as a matter of fact, if we click down here, uh, you get the, the entrepreneurs and solopreneurs, the authors and writers, the networking and connecting, and all of this other information. So you get all of that. So um, anyway, from there, I want to click over into the course. And uh, what I did is I scrolled down, and I'm going to scroll back up so you can see everything that's in the course. Um, the first section is adding more heart to your business. I had something happen to me last night, Sherry. It's kind of fun. Um, I had a gal that was presenting at our um, Happy House Centers group last night. And she leaned into me at the end of our meetup. And she said, your group is so different from my group. Because she also has a group like that. And I said, well, what's different? And she said, my group is all business and your group is all heart. And I was like, Oh, that, that was such a compliment to me. And so I actually start this whole course on how to add more heart to your business. People notice, I'll just say that. Then we jump into the VPS, the storytelling, the serving, uh, how to set up your website. And then we go from there into creating all of your different offers. Uh, the first base, the second base, the third base, the home run. And from there... Uh, we get in a little bit about a sales funnel before we get into the basics of blogging. And then finally, we come down to the basics of podcasting. So I have nine easy steps on how to start a podcast. So check it out. Um, but the top ones are choose a topic that you love. Choose a topic you love. Uh, so just like blogging, you need to select what topic really kind of uh, lights you up. So choose that. Then you have to pick a title, of course. And, uh, and again, we get into that at the very beginning of build a better business. When we talk about our, what is our, our promise to our clients, we talk about what category you're going to be talking in or, or creating your business in. And we go through all kinds of exercises on how to decide what to call your business. And, uh, and it does make a difference. So, and we'll talk about that starting in January. And uh, so it can and be, I will clever. tell you this, I will tell you this. I'm going to stop you right there. You and I had a conversation, oh gosh, maybe two years ago now. And you cautioned me on where to put the word dysgraphia in the title of my podcast. And that's why the word writing is involved in the title is based on our, uh, some, some things that you have said to me and suggested. So as we look at that name part, uh, Kathy is brilliant. So adding, you talk about adding heart. Here's your second good as of the week is uh -huh. you are uh, really good at helping one problem solve things like names and things and, and areas like that. So um, if you are stuck, people listening, uh, contact Kathy because she's great at helping you problem solve that. Yeah. Thank you for that. Um, and again, 
the reason that I'm so good at it now is because I was so bad at it when I started. Um, Sherry knows my story, but I started a salon and I called it all about nails because we were nail techs. And uh, six weeks in, I had a hairstylist that wanted to join the team. And I said, but we're all about nails. <laughs> I had to change the name of my salon six weeks in. So yeah, I learned the hard way. So um, yeah, I'm really, I'm, I, I was not good at it early on. I always would think too small. And mm -hmm. so I, I, I really teach now how to come up with that overarching umbrella so that you can talk about all the things you love and it still comes in your lane. So that's, that's, that's why we talk about all that. But then you have to write a sound description. Uh, we're not going to get in it today, but if you haven't used AI, artificial intelligence, it will help you write an amazing description. And we'll get into that when we start from the top. And so uh, tune in. But anyway, uh, then last, get your artwork created, whatever graphics you're going to use. I love Canva. Again, we'll get into that. Um, and then pre-plan your episodes. Mine, I just simply take this particular class that I'm doing right now. It's my free meetup. It's my, you can see how it all fits together. It's my offer, my free level offer. So folks get to see what I'm all about. And then I turn, actually turn that into a podcast. And so I'm repurposing all my material. And so it's easy for me to pick a topic because I already have my topics lined out, which I just went through. And so each month I will podcast on a different one of my topics. And then you have to choose a format, whether it's an interview style, a current events, multi-host, and we're doing the multi-host. Uh, that's where Sherry and I can tag team. But you can do solo if you don't have anybody in your corner. And then you have to determine the link. And after that, you are ready to, on your schedule, mine's every Monday, going to be every Monday in January, uh, you pick your provider, okay? And there's all kind of features. Again, we won't get down into the weeds today. We do have uh, a, an actual mastermind where we do get down into the weeds. But then in this course, I do go through some of the top ones. There's Buzzsprout, Podbean, Transistor. Uh, Sherry, uh, shout out. What's yours? Transistor. Transistor. Okay. And I'm using audio boom and then prepare and make your recording. I love doing it. Of course, on zoom, you create your script. Oh, so you can even start this for free. If you use anchor anchor is owned by Spotify. So your podcast will primarily be on Spotify. And if I look at my analytics and probably Kathy, if you do the same, my analytics are Apple Podcasts is way up here and Spotify is way down here. So I do recommend if you are going to choose a platform that you choose a platform that does have the Apple on it because 70% of people do have iPhones versus Google phones. Yes. We talked about the recording equipment. Again, I'm just using my laptop and Zoom. Uh, Sherry talked a little bit about her microphone and her computer, her headphones or whatever she's using there. Um, then you can edit if you want. I don't. I, I upload mine raw, but there's some programs, Audacity, Adobe Audition. You can edit GarageBand. Um, again, musicians. Can I add edit. one more that's okay. even better than any of those that you can add in here? And it's called Descript. D-E-S. Oh, yes. I saw that one. Yes. The script is absolutely amazing. And now you can edit, edit video as well as audio. And they now have a link to a different platform other than Zoom called Squadcast. And uh -huh. so they now want your audio and, and video automatically gets fed into there. And one thing that I wanted to add about Zoom and I'm going to relate it here with the script is the script automatically makes a transcript for you. It's that, not as, that is not as good. I actually take my transcript um, from otter.ai, which is like the animal otter.ai. And that one gives me a better transcript okay. and a better and SRT file. So for those of you who don't understand what SRT file is, that's where if you go to some podcasts, they'll go minute by minute. Or if you see closed caption, that's the file that creates that closed captioning. And so it's a better SRT file for uh, when I go to put it on YouTube. Very good. Um, you can add music if you want. It's up to you. 
then uh, and it, there's all kinds of ways to do that. And then, of course, you are ready to publish. And, uh, and, and make sure think, that you use music that is not copyrighted. So correct, don't correct. go out and use some popular um, music. There are places that you can get music that is royalty free, as they call it. Sometimes you have to pay a small fee to per to use that, but then you can use it as many times as you need to. So just be careful on music and images that you are yeah. not using ones that have been copyrighted. Correct. Now, this is actually my podcast. This is on Audio Boom. You can see here in the URL. And the name of my podcast is Freestyle Living with Kathy Benner. And then I named it your Passive Income Coach, Health and Wealth Educator. That's just my title. And again, I'm really playing around with changing coach to mentor. I haven't made that final decision yet, but I'm playing around with that. Um, but all I did is I went into Canva. It's one of my go-to. I don't make it overly complicated. Um, I'm basically opening up a Zoom, doing my recording, uploading it into those three channels, Vimeo, YouTube, and Audio Boom. And then once Audio Boom has it, they share it with Apple Podcast. Right there it is. That's one I picked. And Spotify. So I'm on Apple and Spotify. I was not on Amazon Music. I actually got an email from Amazon that says, we're watching your podcast and we're going to uh, add you to Amazon music and i was like oh okay and it just popped up here i didn't pick it it they just kind of popped up here and so now I think I, one that i one that i see that uh that is there but i don't know how long it's going to be michael was telling me that there's some shift in it google actually has their own platform for podcasting but i think they're changing their their platform so i noticed you don't have google uh podcast there google podcast is currently one that you could potentially okay. add Okay, very good. Good to know. But so what I, know I that, did, Michael, I know that there's something changing about it. So what I did is I went over to Canva and I created these graphics. And so I talked about, and here's the build a better business. And with our mastermind group, here's the mastermind. We did a little podcasting uh, session. But anyway, you can go through uh, and just see, we talk about bloggers, how to create your mastermind. Uh, down here is Connections Over Coffee. Here's my fit as a fiddle. And so as I go through and it repeats, you'll see these repeat, these, these graphics, because um, I just have then the topic here uh, in my description. But uh, we'll talk about it once we start down the path in January, going through every step. We'll actually show you how to use AI to create your descriptions. So right here is where I can upload an episode. It's super easy. When I click on that, you simply select or drop your file. So once you you take it from Zoom and you download the link, you're you're going to just drop the link right here. That's all you do. You just drop the link here and it uploads it for you automatically. And then once you do that, you can come back. Um, there's my dashboard. Let's go back to the view podcast. So then it just, it'll automatically pop right up. Then you can make different, um, what word do I want, Sherry? Different accounts, different folders, different tabs, where I can put all my build a better bit playlist. That's the word I'm looking for. I can put all my build a better business in the same playlist. I can put all my bloggers in the same playlist. And that way, if someone taps into my uh, actual podcast and they go, I'm just interested in the blogging, they can just go to the bloggers playlist and all the blog uh, audios will be all in one playlist. So you can you can kind of customize your your uh, podcast from there. So that's what mine looks like. I just I just kind of wanted you to see an idea. And uh, Sherry, I know we're at the top of the hour, but I'd like for you to show our listeners what yours looks like. Sure. I have a couple different um, things here, and I'm on actually on the wrong one. So my main website looks like this, and if you page down. My website we don't have to worry about what's on it oh gosh look at that uh craziness um something's going haywire on my website it's good i was here today re re um, refresh refresh your screen see if that clears it up it did no okay. something's popping in there 
Oh, those are your podcasts or something, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, it was so, so I have two podcasts. They're both right here. Um, and there's a little blurb about each one and then, whoops, sorry about that. Mm -hmm. And that actually, and I have another website that just has an overall, a little bit of discussion about what dyscraphia is. And then the, the two podcasts have a separate page here and then okay. you can listen on your podcast app and it goes into the different apps that I have available. Very nice. And then what I did, cause I was like, I want to, where did it go now? Uh, I want to have uh, the episodes on their own page. And so Transistor offers this. So I actually have two podcast websites right now. And this one has all the different. I like it. I'm not totally sold on this um, thing right now because it doesn't allow me to do the image that I've created. So the image gets lost along the way. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't allow you to put the graphic with, with the, the topic. No, no. Um, but then there, it just has the episodes that they can search for the episode title. And one thing about transistor is I can actually create a profile for every person that I have that I've spoken That's to. Nice. And it looks like I've missed one as I um, as I've uh, uploaded and, now on, and I'm going to jump in and on, on mine, what I did, because I don't have that option on, on uh, audio boom, I actually put a link at the bottom of my description, right within the paragraph of my description, a link over to my guest, uh, yeah. homepage of their website. And I offer that, I have that included as well. And then this is where you can find them. And I don't know what all the symbols stand for, but I think that's iHeartRadio. That, um, this one, the, that the A is Amazon, yeah. A is Amazon. It, I have a link in YouTube. YouTube. This one here is the Google Podcasts. Okay. But there were some that were similar to yours and some that were, that were different. And then at the very bottom, I think Michael has these situated that they go to my social links mm -hmm. and, and this was the newest thing he created for me this is my little favicon which is up here um for that which is part of my um part of my uh, branding logo yeah yeah so if you go back if you go back to my home see it's the pencils that yep. are up here so i thought that was kind of cute yes um, good job uh but so I've been thinking a lot about the path and about the podcasting. And so next year, my path for my podcasting is going to be shifting a little bit. And if people are interested in hearing more about that, tune in other week, months and you can hear a little bit more about that, or you can just contact me directly. You can ask me some questions about how my podcast is, uh, is going to be shifting from the pattern it is now. I'm actually going to be creating a, a, a spot on the podcast for continuing it. I like it. I like it. So follow us. Um, we're again, we're, we're going to be here officially. I think I want to say it's the first Monday of every month with the exception of January because New Year's Day is the first Monday. It's just the way it falls on New Year's Day. And so what happens then is we've just pushed January because there's five Mondays in January. So we just pushed January down a week. So January is going to be January 8th. But then when we get over into February, you can just mark your calendar for the first Monday of every month. It's going to be at noon. We're going to be on talking about how to build a better business. And you'll see me, you'll see Sherry, and we're going to break down every step and exactly how we built our businesses. So join us. And when you do tap in, if you're listening to this later on, uh, make sure that you scroll down in the description and you'll see how to contact me and how to contact Sherry in the description. So if you want to get in touch with either one of us, you're welcome to do that. So with that, um, I'm, we're going to go for today. I, I just really loved having this conversation. And uh, so we'll see everyone on January, come back January 8th, 
Uh, you can come in February. We're talking about public speaking. I don't know if you're ready for that. If you're ready for that, you can come in in, uh, in December for the public speaking. Let me see where we are just to make sure. Because in December, we are, I'm looking for the date. We are December 8th. And, and our topic is public speaking. And then January 8th is when we start over. So anyway, I'll give you the dates. Tap in and follow us and learn how to build a better business. Yeah, it's great to see everybody.